Welcome back to Dummy Boy Finance. I'm Dummy Boy and we're going to get straight into our explosive penny stock watch list. So the first stock we're looking at here is Humble on the daily time frame up 2% today and we are holding support very nicely. So you can see right now our 200 day SMA has been a very nice level of support right here. Our MACD is starting to get a curl up and so I am very optimistic about the price action for the next couple weeks here on Humble. And so Humble is pretty much the pioneer in this nft space that is only going to grow so if these guys and brian foot has been saying that he is trying to get as many contracts as he can with entertainment companies with athletes with any sort of creative artists that want to monetize themselves and their content on such a platform and so overall i'm very excited to see how this nft space develops and how the pioneer in this space humble continues to prosper and so that being just one segment of humble that gets me extremely excited especially when a stock only trades at a dollar 52 and a pretty small market cap for what i believe is going to be a multi 10 to 20 to even 30 plus billion dollar market cap company and so on a short term basis we can see our macd is starting to curl up and we have held support on our 200 day SMA and so overall we actually wanted to see this type of price action in humble because this is the stock cooling off right now the last time we had any sort of interaction with our 200 day SMA was way before we even merged into the humble entity and so this is the first time we are actually seeing the price action tag the 200 day SMA since the fruition of humble as its own company and so at the end of the day this is very strong price action this is to be expected and so now with our MACD crossing over i do expect to see brighter skies here in the short term overall i think this is going to be a very solid company and i think anybody who has been buying on this dip is going to be extremely wealthy in the long term and so overall you guys already know this is my favorite play of them all and so overall up two percent today very excited to see how this stock plays out for the next month next stock of the day we're looking at igen on the daily time frame so igen continues to have very volatile trading sessions we go from green to red to red to green and so overall we are patent approved we did have to pay a fine of about twenty five thousand dollars here on igen so that could be a reason why we were down today overall though we are still seeing very strong accumulation here on igen you guys know this is my biggest position and so i do believe and i'm very confident in the future outlook of this company more so i am very confident in the ceo and the chan man and he is going to take us to the promised land overall if this company gets bought out or this company merges into another company that is only going to mean a bigger market cap in turn a larger share price and so overall at these prices again i'm going to reiterate this igen is a steal on a technical level we actually had a pretty strong close we closed right on this level of 0095 and so this would be considered a higher low and so at this point i'm very excited to see how igen trades next week if we have any days where we close below this point that would be bearish for the short term but because we are setting higher lows this does let me know that we could potentially go up in the next coming weeks you can see our macd has crossed over and we are starting to make our way up on our down days you see the volume has been extremely low so bulls have been holding the line anytime the price action does get a little bit low which is great to see which means there are people willing to hold and accumulate the stock like myself ultimately those investors i feel like will get rewarded in the long term with this company next stock of the day we're looking at wdlf on the daily time frame so wdlf is finding support here on its 100 day sma you can see the volume has been slowly and steadily going down it does potentially look like our macd could be crossing over to the downside and so if this does happen we could see the price action get as low as our 200 day sma like we saw with humble we have not seen the price action on our 200 day sma in a very long time here in social life network and so be prepared to see prices as low as 006, 007 here in Social Life Network. If we get a couple more red days here, our MACD will officially cross over to the downside and that would not look good. And so that would be very bearish. And so we'll see how this one trades next week. We need a couple more green days to try to get our MACD to bounce off the signal line. But again, we don't wanna see that crossover. If we do, I do expect us to eventually get down as low as this 200 day SMA. Next talk of the day,
today we're looking at Segai on the daily time frame. So Segai was pretty much flat today, continues to trade in this wedge right now. We are below our 100 and our 50. Our 50 seems like it's going down. And so right now we just have no clear indication on Segai. I have predicted a bunch that we will continue to trade in this little triangle right here. And we will start to make larger moves somewhere here at June 22nd. Next stock of the day, we're looking at MJNA on the daily time frame. So similar setup here on MJNA. You can see our price action is just slowly and steadily just trading sideways within this pattern. But because we have held this 100 day SMA very nicely, and it does seem like we are eventually going to get through this pattern, I do think MJNA could have a breakout as early as around May 7th, May 8th. But if we continue to get rejected by this level of resistance, I do expect us to trade in this little pattern till about June 22nd. So the setup for MJNA and Segai look very similar. Next stock of the day, we're looking at ALYI on the daily. So we were down 1.71%. Our volume is starting to dry up, so that is a good sign right now. We could be nearing a bottom. We did close below our very critical level of support. So you guys know, whenever we're below this level, we are bearish, but anytime we are above, we are bullish. But at the end of the day, we are still above our 100-day SMA. And so as long as we can find support at this level, I do believe ALYI is still in a good standing. Next stock of the day, we're looking at RDGL on the daily. So Vivos was down 2%. This stock is also getting very volatile. You can see the accumulation has been through the roof right now. We had our MACD crossover. We are officially out of our pennant right now, but we haven't had a pickup in volume yet, so we haven't opened a position just yet, but we are waiting very patiently to see where RDGL kind of plays out. We really want the price action to get above this 50 SMA. I believe once the price action gets above this 50 SMA, RDGL is a buy. We will see some resistance here at our 100 day SMA, and so this could be a quick trade for those traders who are interested in RDGL. Again, I am very long here on RDGL, so I expect this to go up a lot higher higher in the short term if we break this to the upside with high volume. Next stock of the day, we're looking at HYSR on the daily time frame, down 4%. So I may stop covering this stock because I have such a bearish outlook on this specific company just because they don't have a legitimate product. I think in an environment with high interest rates, corporate taxes, companies that don't have a product are not going to get investors' attention, which is why I expect this stock to bleed in the short and long term. And so you can see we are still above our uptrend. We have just continuously been bleeding and slowly trading down. You can see the volume here. We've seen a lot of red, not too much green. And so if we continue this trajectory and we break all the way down again, it will not look good you can see our 50 sma has been just going down crossed over our 100 and it could potentially cross over our 200 we haven't seen the price action above our 50 anytime and we got rejected by it right here so hysr is probably the most bearish outlook stock for myself right now next stock of the day we're looking at acdc on the daily time frame so up only about a percent but we have been holding our 100 day sma extremely nice here we are above our uptrend so everything has been still solid on acdc you can see our volume has dried up so there aren't really any buyers and there aren't any really sellers so at the end of the day that is a pretty solid sign of consolidation and so at these levels i do expect acdc to return a decent profit for those who are buying here however once we start to get the volume picking up i think that is the best opportunity to play acdc until we do i think i would still be waiting on the sidelines there is still too much uncertainty overall in the markets to be hopping into a company like acdc that is still speculation but they have real contracts so at the end of the day this is going to be a company that prospers in the future but in the short term we could get better opportunities to buy next stock of the day we're looking at staff on the daily time frame down five percent and so again i did predict that staff would trade out all the way until this little corner and then break up or down from this point and so right now, if we get a breakout at this point, I may make this into an options play because I do think we should see some sort of movement to the upside. You can see we got our death cross right here. But one thing I want to mention with staff over its 
entirety, you could see the price action doesn't really get away from its SMAs. You could see all of our SMAs trade very tightly to each other, but anytime we get extremely above, we come right back down. Same thing, we get above, we come right back down, we get above, we come right back down. And in addition, when it goes to the downside, this is as far as we can really get it from its SMAs. And so if I'm looking at the price action right now, we are well away from all of our SMAs right now. And so at this point in time, I do think staff is going to be a very nice buy if we can get the price action to this point and we get a breakout and again if we do i think that will be a good options play for myself next stock of the day we're looking at high tide on the daily so high tide has been trading very nicely in this little pennant you can see we got rejected by resistance here and now we are just kind of breaking right back down we got a crossover of our macd the volume was starting to pick up but you could see it died right back down overall high tide really needs to get the price action above this pennant to start to see larger moves up but as long as we are above this uptrend we still are going to maintain a bullish outlook again there is this slight gap to fill to the downside so we could potentially in a worst case scenario fill this gap to the downside but again i am still holding high tide and i bought somewhere around here so overall if we do get down to this point i will be extremely down on my position but i will be there to buy up if we get to that point. Next talk of the day, we're looking at SNDL. So SNDL cannot catch a break. Anytime you get signs of life, it comes right back down. So we we're down about 4% today. We got our MACD crossover, but now our MACD does not look as bullish as it once did. We could not even get a back test of our 100 day SMA. So overall, we're just kind of slowly bleeding and consolidating here at SNDL. Again, there are no real catalysts coming up for the company itself. Macroeconomically, we could start to get better better news for the cannabis industry but overall there are going to be a lot better companies in my opinion that are going to benefit from a cannabis boom i think sndl is just going to be one of those meme plays that are going to have its booms and busts typical of a pump and dump and so i'm not saying money can't be made here because i think a lot of money can be and so at these prices if we could start to see the volume pick up i think this is going to be a solid play for swing traders i also want to mention that i don't feel like a lot of long-term investors are going to be holding sndl people know that the stock has a lot of volume and it has great momentum so as soon as the momentum comes you have a lot of traders that love this stock and so once those traders come in remember that's just temporary movements because at one point they buy but at one point they're going to sell and so that's why i consider sndl pump and dump and a very solid trade not a great long-term position overall but again there's still money to be made here in sundial growers there you guys have it that was our quick little update on our explosive penny stock watch list if you guys enjoyed this video don't forget to like we are on the road to 10k subs so if you made it to this point feel free to hit that subscription button this is dummy boy finance i'm dummy boy and i'll see you guys in the next one